Hi friends, this is Video Lancer. In this short video tutorial, I will show you how to use our Motion Pro extension in Premiere Pro. Also, I'd like to note that most of our packages work with auto resize. It means that our motion design will look great both in horizontal video and in the vertical or square video. Go to motionbro.net. Download the latest version of the extension and extract the ZXP file from the zip archive. To install the extension for Adobe applications, you can use any ZXP installer. I use this one as an example. Download the ZXP installer that corresponds to your system and install it. Run ZXP installer. Drop the ZXP into the installer window and wait for the installation to complete. Before the first run, create a folder on your drive where the Motion Bro packages will be stored. Extract all the packages you have to this folder. In the future, if you purchase one more package, just extract it to this folder, and it will be available in Motion Bro. Now run your project in Premiere Pro. Go to Window, Extensions, Motion Pro. When you run the extension for the first time, you have to specify that very folder where you unzipped all the packages for Motion Pro. The extension has found the available packages, and you have to enter the purchase code. You can find this code in the email that you got from the market after purchase. Copy the code and paste it here. So, presets packages have been installed. You can choose the package in this tab. All the categories of the chosen package are displayed in this block. All the presets of the chosen category are displayed here. To view presets, you can choose one of two preview modes. In this mode, the preview is displayed on the big screen. In this mode, the preview is displayed above the thumbnail. If you want to display the preview of all presets simultaneously, you can switch on GIF mode. Move the time indicator to the part of the timeline where you want to add a preset. Choose a preset in the Motion Bro and click Apply. The preset layer will be added to the time indicator. Footages or sound effects are added without any parameters for customization. But you can customize the motion graphics presets. To display the settings, open the Essential Graphics panel. Apply the chosen preset and select it. All available settings for the chosen preset appeared on the Essential Graphics panel. Here you can change text, font, color, and so on. If Motion Graphics preset has a more complicated structure and includes placeholders, it will be added to your project as a sequence. To customize such a preset, open its sequence. Here on these layers, you can change available settings on the Essential Graphics panel. This sequence is used as a placeholder. Open it and drop your media here. Well, that's all for today. Subscribe to my channel not to miss the release of new products for Premiere Pro and After Effects. That was Video Lancer. See you later.